yourself when you don't have your phone Will you still pretend you're happy? What you gonna do when your followers gone? All the places we could go when we're not stuck in a zone. How are we free when we let algorithms take control? Tell me how we supposed to vibe when your life is your device. Let me give you some advice. Go see a pretty girl with your own eyes. Not through a screen, cause it's more clear than HD with no glass in between. I started thinking with my own mind, not through machines. And ever since I made that change, the world is smiling at me. It felt like Sometimes I get why people lose it. I, get it. I wonder if they couldn't show it. Would they even do it? Would you even do it? <laughs> I guess we're about to find out now. What about when no one watches? Do you like yourself when you don't have your phone? Do you? Will you still pretend you're happy? What you gonna do when your followers gone? When your followers gone? What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do when your followers gone? When your followers gone? Open. 
Thank you for your patience. All right, we'll start taking questions now. Well, that's all we have time for today. Live from the English capital, a meeting that you usually can't take your eyes away from. Arsenal against Manchester City. Who's going to prevail this time round? Stay with us for every kick of the ball, live on EA TV. Delighted to be able to report very agreeable weather for the fans here at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to starting this new year with some live football for you. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, let's just hope the players weren't at the same Hogney party as you, Derek. Otherwise, we could be in for a really lacklustre performance. But this actually has the makings of being a really good encounter. 
Here are the starters for Arsenal. Naby Keita plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And up front, a player with considerable attacking know-how, Wissam Ben Yedder. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. De Bruyne. And now Rodri pulls it back. Must take the lead here. He's foiled them on his own. He's on a Gaddish. Foden. City get the corner. Now the delivery. Cleared away. Bernardo Silva. It's looking promising. Let's see about the delivery. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Tierney. Thomas. Here's Keita. Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense. Just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing... And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And there's the delivery. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. And it wasn't the result Arsenal fans had scripted in their minds last time out. They lost against Wolverhampton Wanderers. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, that defeat shows how vulnerable they are at the moment. It really was a poor display. Obviously, they've been looking for a better performance today. No doubt they've been working hard on the training ground, but I think this could go either way. Should be a really tight contest. Naby Keita. Still passing it around with authority. I well, just couldn't play that decisive ball. Rodri, Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez, the ball with Rodri, Walker, De Bruyne, now with Silva, well City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball but unless they start passing it with more penetration they'll struggle to win this game which will be a major disappointment Ruben Diaz it's with Laporte Gonzalo Gedge. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Into the box it goes. Not really the ideal clearance. And problem solved for now. Counter attacking, very much an option. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Real chance. And the keeper had the measure of it. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Corner again. A very effective clearance. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on... In to consider based on what we've seen so far. 
as the second half begins. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, he's just spooned it over the top. Clears it away. Silva. Walker. Just a quick reminder, action from the third round of the FA Cup coming up live on EA TV. It's Arsenal, and they'll be taking on Huddersfield Town. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition, and so do I. It should be a good game. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Bernardo Silva. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne, now a potentially dangerous position for City. But really sticking to their task defensively. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Tierney. And can they make one of these passes count? Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Well, they have the ball once more. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Could be a chance to break here. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Big chance to get them on terms. Superb stop. Tierney. Here's Ben Yadair. There's a slide draw pass. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. And Manchester City will go to their bench. De Bruyne. Now with Silva. Velocity. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, the corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. A change in the offing for City. And over comes the corner. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. And showing excellent vision. Now the task is to remain focused. Emerson, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These Arsenal fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. And it's a quality pass. Big chance. And denied by the keeper. 
Super impressive. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Counter attacking very much an option. Gonzalo Getch. This could be the equaliser. Splendid defending. Oh, surely. He's blocked it. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Let's see about the delivery. And he clears the danger. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. Can we just grab a minute of your time for a few questions?
Thank you all for joining us. We'll start with the questions now. That's all we have time for today.
A derby in this part of London that can be highly unpredictable and what a rich history it has to draw upon. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action from North London as Spurs face Arsenal. You never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me, ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Naby Keita plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And that pass could be troublesome. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. Oh, a goal! There it is! And the crowd stunned into silence. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Son. And Hoybier with it. Romero and they're moving the ball neatly enough just looking for that decisive pass still possibilities and a time for calm on the ball Martin Odegaard opportunity in the wide area Dejan Kulusevski. Now with Tolisso. Eric Dyer. Kane. Son. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Arsenal have given it away. Eric Dyer. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. And showing fine vision. It might be. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. And he was in the right place to intercept. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Crossing opportunity. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Rebier. Son. Delivered into the area here. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. And a struggle to get it away properly. Breaking at pace. And they need to get tighter. Thomas Partey. Can he play it in? Marcinelli. And a timely intervention. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Reguilon Kulusevski Not a huge chunk of added time One minute Ten 
Tolisso. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. No more time left. That is it for the first... So into the second half here, and the onus is on Spurs to turn this match on its head. Dejan Kulusevski. That's how to rob them of possession. Martinelli. Well, attacking possibilities. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And breaking at pace with Menace. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man... Everyone's looking at... Poibier Son Oh you don't want to lose the ball in that position Superb stop And the news confirmed before the game Manchester City have finally got their man Stuart Well I think it's a good move for him He has great ability but needs to be that little bit more consistent I'd say it's a fair price as well well, they're creating chances now, and these Spurs fans are responding. But they need to make the most of this spell and get themselves back into the game. Oh, a vital interception. And Spurs doing well to win it back. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Marcus Tuham successfully cut out and promising stuff from Arsenal but really sticking to their task defensively Son a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Spurs taking on Chelsea. They could pick out a teammate. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. Marcus Tuham. In the right place to cut out the pass. Now can they counter clinically? All hands on deck. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Space on the flank. Towards Gabriel Jesus, far post. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Arsenal facing Burnley. Tremendously strong in the tackle. They've got it now, what can they do? Just ten minutes to go showing fine vision 
And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Attacking though they might be. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance. <laughs> to equalise. And time for the change now. And there's the delivery. Foiling them effectively. Tommy Yasu. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory. the lesson though i hate the pain my heart's investment surely left the stain you chose your weapon nearly hit a vein but i can see sadness in yo you thought i was coming back that's a no you were always getting mad for control i won't fall into a trap that you sell i've been going back to black like before I won't be the reason why your heart broke Even though my love is icy, that's cold She ain't met nobody like me before And I belong to somebody like me, not like you
Coming in, you know, so I can say no when I feel like it's my dream, you know. So I decide I will live my life. Too easy, no, too easy, bro. So that's why I don't. I love the ratchet things, try to change the never will. I love the models, but they're always trying to be too cool. Let's be honest, I'm the hardest hit. Got the mildest, but check the numbers in.
Well, real excitement here. The signing has been completed and we're about to see his debut. Will he hit the ground running? Hello and a warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The initial 11 for Wolves. Nelson Semedo plays with Johnny in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And does well to keep it in play. Johnny. Wang Hee Chan. Cody. Podence. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, they've needed something different, and he will certainly offer that because his movement is clever, he makes dynamic runs, and he's a good box player. Let's hope he shows us all those qualities today. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, magnificent reaction. For dance. Wang Hee Chan. Encouraging from the Wolves' point of view. Fruitful looking attack. 
Opportunity. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, just hearing someone has scored in the West Ham game, Alex Scott can provide us with the details. It's a goal for West Ham. They've scored the opener with 20 minutes play. Cheers, Alex. Connecting to cross into the centre. Well, able to close down the shot. Still could be dangerous. Well, they can keep possession now. Trin Cow. Showing considerable guile. Can he finish? And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Nicely timed tackle. Jim City. Well, I'm hearing a goal has gone in in the Burnley game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a goal for Burnley. After a well-worked move, he got himself on the end of a cross with a beautiful header. It's now 1-0 with 32. Can he do it? And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? So the corner played into the box. Well, tremendous block. Could be. He's got it. Magnificent goal! Well, a second goal for them here. And a throw in it's going to be. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. To confirm Burnley have scored in that match, and their lead stands at 1 0 presently. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Kieran Tierney. Well, let's send it over to Alex Scott, shall we? Because, Alex, there's been a change to the scoreline in the Villa game. It's a goal for Villa. It's now 1-0 with 43 minutes played. Thanks, as always, Alex. Surely! Oh, that is a superb save. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Off and running again. It really was a spellbinding first half performance from Wolves. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Trincao. It's with Erdogan. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. So making this on a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. A no mistake from the keeper. Will it be punished? And it's Gabriel Jesus... Nabi Keita. He's given it away. And nicely struck. Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. Martinelli. 
Gabriel Jesus brilliantly blocked and they're making a change and over comes the corner not a poor ball and easy for the keeper well as you can see Wolves have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that top class defending And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Wolves facing Tottenham Hotspur. Chance to play it in. It's a corner. Well, they fancy a short one. Cuts it back. And the pass could do damage. Well, it all counts for naught. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Wilfried Zaha. Gabriel Martinelli. Could cross it in here. Well, it's one pass after another. Teammate available. In it goes! He scored on his debut. And his fans are loving that. Well, the action underway again, and that goal for Arsenal certainly puts a different complexion on the game. Cody. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Time and the scoreline against Arsenal. But still they're in this. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Breaking at pace. Individual brilliance. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Five minutes left. So Bosloy. Tierney, crossing opportunity, and it still could be dangerous, and problem solved for now, Huang Hee Chan, well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on, spot on with that tackle, a matter of keeping his composure, well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. So the referee's whistle means full time, and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight con.
two London clubs who are quite simply steeped in tradition. And when they lock horns, the sparks tend to fly. Stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action from Stamford Bridge as Chelsea take on Arsenal. It is always a high-profile occasion when Chelsea and Arsenal collide. And the venue for this game is Stamford Bridge here in West London. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson for this London derby. Stuart, what do you expect to see today? Well, Derek, you're absolutely right. Chelsea versus Arsenal has become a big game in recent times. And this shouldn't be any different. I'm certainly looking forward to this one. They're two excellent teams. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Ben Chilwell starts with Aspili Quetta in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. At times they make passing look easy. Oh, good looking run. And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. On they go again. And Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Oh, surely! Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match! Now they're level again! The lead lasted merely minutes! Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Havertz. Mateo Kovacic. Went in strongly, decisively. Partey's threaded pass. And he's in. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Lukaku. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Possession changing hands. Conte. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Werner. And someone to play it to. Well, it's gone in. A goal for Chelsea. Who now are left. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Mateo Kovacic. Kai Havertz. And he's got past his man. Werner. And dribbling with it, but out of play. So, Bosloy. Terrific block. And the possession lost, intercepted. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Aspili Quetta. Saar now. Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. Mateo Kovacic. Werner with it now. Conte Havertz Precise ball movement 
Oh, the threat is there. Superb block. Must take the lead here. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Good vision from Gabriel Jesus. And he takes on the shot. Oh, that's a fine save. Played over. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Chilwell. Here's Kovacic. Francesco Acerbi. Chilwell. On the ball, Rudiger. Well, we don't need to speculate any more about Inter. They have been successful in terms of getting the man. Havertz! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Martinelli. Chance to cross. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Kai Havertz. Romelu Lukaku now. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Oh, good vision. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. So a half an hour remaining. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent, and the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. Well, what an outstanding first half he had. He dictated the play and was a constant threat with his ability on the ball. Surely he's going to be marked a lot tighter in the second 45 minutes. Otherwise, he completely dominate the game. Given away by Chelsea. Zaha wanted to keep it but couldn't in behind for him to chase over the touchline for a throw in Just 20 minutes remaining now. Mount. Conte has it. Lukaku. Werner. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Who can he pick out? Not a bit short with the clearance. Well, they survived the attack. Nabi Keita. Tierney. Opportunity. Foiling his opponent completely. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner. 
can make all the difference. Trying to deliver it accurately. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Pulisic. Well, I think a winner's coming here, as do these Chelsea fans. They're making so much noise now. Mount. Five minutes of the 90 still to go. And the teams cannot be separated. Conte. Can he put them in front? Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Naby Keita. And forward go Arsenal. Do they have a late winning goal in their future? And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. Gabriel Martinelli. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Space afforded him. Of getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. A glorious chance with both time and space. Terrific piece of anticipation. Muriel. Well, it's the late show. A fairly easy say, and with that, the referee brings this contest to an end. All square here in what was a thoroughly compelling game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, it could have gone either way. I thought not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Two English clubs synonymous with tradition, Liverpool and Arsenal. How will things unfold when they face each other in this contest? Live coverage coming your way right here on EA TV. Good evening. They might have done quite a bit of refurbishment work on this stadium in recent seasons, but it still has a refreshingly old-fashioned quality about it. We're at Anfield. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16 just moments away. 
it is Liverpool up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, when you get to this stage of the tournament, 90 minutes away from a place in the last eight, you can expect a game full of passion. Surely it could be up for grabs. And in at the second time of asking, but the goalkeeper sadly at fault. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Makes his way in field, but quick thinking defensively. Payet. On to Konate. Roberto Firmino. Dimitri Payet with it. Excellent ball over the top. Well, still an issue here. Hang on to the ball. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. It comes to nothing in the end. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Struggling to keep the ball. Mane, Milner, crucial interception amid impending danger. Jesus, it's a weighted pass. Will they get themselves level here? Brilliantly blocked. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. And continues his run, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. It's Arsenal's turn now. Oh, good strike! Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike! Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Mane, it's with Roberto Firmino. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Wilfried Zaha. Tierney and crossed in there the clearance wasn't decisive Partey here's Gabriel Jesus oh he saved it well Payet Alexander Arnold Salah He's taken on his opponent here. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can bring it out now. And the emphasis is on creativity. Parse. On to Jesus. And a fine cross. No more time left. First half is over here at Anfield. Underway then in the second half.
And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Fluency of movement. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. And he's breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Milner. Mane. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing West Ham United. And space for the cross. Shot attempted. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Testing times for Liverpool. Can they pass this test? It is a decent looking attack here. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Time for a change then. It did look on for them, but not to be. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Watford. Gabriel Jesus! Well cleared away. Could be threatening. Perfect tackle. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Just let you know the club shop is open after today's game. If you'd like to get your tickets for the next game or club merchandise. Possession lost by Liverpool. And he might be through here. Well, it wasn't a bad effort, but couldn't get it properly on the target. And into the last 20 minutes. Read it superbly to take back possession. And he keeps going. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Thiago. Here's Robertson, and the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Making sure nothing untoward happened. So the final whistle fast approaching. It's Arsenal with a narrow lead in this one. Stewart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. Andrew Robertson. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Now can they counter clinically? 
And they know they need to stop him. Couldn't quite hang on. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Oh, goalkeeper blunder. Well, that save has just about kept them in it. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Firmino. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And pushed on to the woodwork. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, in a very tight match, they just about deserved their win. But it certainly wasn't easy. They had to show a lot of character and determination at times. But they're through to the next... Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with questions now. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll. London calling, and I very much hope you're ready. You'd better be, because this could be special. Arsenal against Manchester United, two of the biggest clubs in England, and they're about to lock horns next, live on EA TV. Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And we have action from the quarter-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. Gabriel Jesus! 
Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel. What a chance this is, Derek. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Martin Odegaard. Thomas now. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Marcinelli. Big chance. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, he's playing well at the moment. He's confident. He's making runs in behind. He always looks a threat when he gets on the ball. He's been good with the ball at his feet. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Wilfred Zaha might be able to get in behind the defence. It needs an accurate cross. Coming out in front. Sensational goalkeeping from Danny De Gea. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Glass it away. Pogba. Now with Rashford. Oh, lovely ball. Bruno Fernandes, and a goal to open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control, and that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Lindelof. Well, as you can see, United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. He has time to play it over. Teammate and support. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, a second goal for them here. Delightful pass. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Sancho. Rafael Varan. It's with McTominay. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Vital interception, the danger was very real. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Cristiano Ronaldo. Arsenal have possession again. Zaha. Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Up behind for another corner. And clears the danger. Happy to take on the shot. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway. Second half underway here, and Arsenal quite simply need to lift themselves. And cutting inside. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. 
strong play here. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Able to deal with the threat. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Aston Villa. He continues his run. Pogba. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Manchester United coming off the pitch. Number 10, Marcus Rashford. Four attempts at a pass, really. Number 13, Rafael. Now can they make something happen? Keita. And he keeps going. Can he get one back? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Liverpool. Tuham. And smart defending. Chance to play it in. Preferring to go infield. And the keeper got there. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Well, I'm sure he would love to have that opportunity back. Just 20 minutes remaining now. More than decent this from United. But quick thinking defensively. a simple save to make here's a change for Manchester United he's driven in the corner in it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round so the ball is rolling again 2-1 the scoreline Palinha Pogba. Rafa. Is this the moment? And able to close down the shots. Well, relying on. the goalkeeper well there's not long left now but that just about keeps the minute well they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner not the best clearance and in the end no damage done beautifully weighted ball on and on he goes this could square the game and it has such late excitement and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again at 2 all. Taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Rafa. Oh, it 
could be. It's got to be. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Yeah.